What's going on YouTube? It's your boy T back again today with another Soul Supremacy Beater Box. Today we got a $715 box, I believe. Uh, no, $740. My bad. $740 box. This box was $700 plus the $40 shipping. If you're new to the channel, these are nothing more, nothing less than just a mystery box. We buy them from a company called Soul Supremacy out in California. Uh, members only don't know when new members are gonna come uh, open again when memberships are gonna come open again I have no idea I get a lot I get questioned that a lot and I wish I had the answer for y'all because I know it's a bunch of y'all who want to get become members um, it's about a hundred of us nationwide to get these boxes uh, nothing nothing special man just a mystery box I don't know what's in it I don't know the condition I don't know the sizes anything like that if you just thumbed up on this video if you're new to the channel um man make sure y'all hit that sub button because i do have more boxes coming in and just trying to find time to shoot everything man so yeah we're gonna jump right in this one 740 dollars shipped already got the handy dandy pocket knife in hand That's a good sign. Straight boxes. No loose shoes in this box. Get this Nike box. That's a good sign. We got an Air Max 90 leather in a size 11. My size. Air Max 90. These are not 90s. These are Air Max 95s. And they have a Nike ID stamp on the inside. And I know y'all probably can't see that. But these are some Nike IDs. Whoever did these did pretty good. Like a gray and navy blue. These, let me check the size, make sure. Size 11. So the sizing is correct, the box is not. Air Max 95s. Look like they've been lightly worn. Somebody might have created them and they didn't like them anymore. They're pretty clean to me. Simple, simple little 95. Got an ID. I haven't had an ID in a box in a long time. We got the old old school Jordan face box. These are a size 12 retro 11. <laughs> Dang. We got some 2001s, I'm assuming. Columbia uh, or Legend Blues. These are still dead stock. These are still dead stock size 12. Bottoms are yellow. These shoes are very old. Still dead stock, so that patent leather has turned yellow. These will be, these are just for collectors, man. These aren't, these aren't wearable at all. I'm assuming they, you wear these and that sole is coming right off of them. Man, I'm trying to get y'all, trying to get it where you guys can see it. Better lighting, still dead stock, so. Box is in great shape. Whoever had these took good care of the box too. Got a bunch of Jordan boxes in here. The rest of these are all Jordans. Oh no, I got one uh, Nike box down here. Another old Jordan box. I got a Retro 7. Size 11 and a half. Retro 7. We got the Bordeaux. This is a pretty cool seven. This is one of my favorite sevens. I'm not a big seven fan, but I like this, uh, the Bordeaux color, colorway. And these, these have some kind of a tear or scratch or something right here. So they still have a little life in them. Probably be a good hoop shoe for somebody. Check out the bottom. Probably just a good hoop shoe for somebody because I don't know if that is repairable. It looks like somebody tried, like it just got scratched really good right there. I'm trying to get where you guys can see it. Well, that's unfortunate. That's the older Bordeaux. 
I want to say that's Columbia's from 2001. I think I said 2011. I'm gonna have to double check that. Another old box, my size, Jordan 13s. Man, I know this isn't considered heat to a lot of y'all that's into the hype stuff nowadays, but this is considered heat to me. I've had these about three times. This pair looks to be dead stock. That is a great come up. These are called the neutral grays. I remember that because these are one of the kicks I really wanted back in school. And I didn't get them until after I graduated. But these joints are hard. Retro 13, still dead stock. Still has the plastic over the hologram. No need to take out the other one. That is a great come up. 10 and a half, Jordan 13. I got a Nike box, Nike Air Foam Posit. This is the last Nike, the other two down here are Jordans. These are 11 and a half. We got the Gem Reds, or the Red Octobers, whatever you guys want to nickname these. I keep on pulling out one. These aren't dead stocks. So I'm gonna show y'all both of them. The Gem Reds. I got, I have these in my personal collection. Very dope shoe. If you're into foam posits, I know it's kind of dying now. A little dirt on the bottom. But overall, these are pretty clean. It won't take much to get these gone at all. Box is in great shape. 11 and a half on the foams. Two more pair in the box. This box is beat up. I got a Jordan to Jordan 12, my size again. Ooh, man, these are nice. The Cherry 12s. These are absolutely beautiful. The Cherry 12s. They haven't re retro these in a long time, man. Size 11. They're not dead stock. If they were dead stock, they would probably be close to dang near the price of the box. These are crazy. Very good condition, size 11. Would be instant keepers if I didn't already have them. <laughs> but these are dope. I might have to check and see which one is cleaner. So these are the ones in my collection. And they probably about the same, but. So these right here will be up for sale, man. I'm gonna let y'all have these size 11. Normally, these, this would have been an instant keeper, man, for sure. These are dope. The box is beat up. They even have the retro card in the bottom of the box. Man, these and those neutral grays and the foams. The last three pair I pulled out of here. That's that's pretty good stuff. Jordan three, retro threes. We got the infrared 23s in great shape. These, uh, they don't go for too much. This is the last pair in the box. These don't go for too much. They had the hang tag on there, as you can see. These are still in pretty good shape. This pair actually had a, a decent uh, leather on there. As you can see all that tumbled leather. I guess this colorway just didn't do too well or something, but they're not bad. Infrared 23, retro threes, jump in on the back. Check out the midsole. Um, no cracking in the paint there. Still even got the stickers in them. Uh, they're not dead stock. They still have the stickers in the bottom of the uh, insoles. That is the last pair in this box. $740 box in the books. I should have another box um, here shortly. So make sure if you're watching this video, you hit that sub button. If you want any of these kicks, man, just hit me up on the email tgasol at gmail.com or yeah gmail.com uh instagram at tgasol twitter uh i take dms on all of that stuff uh, if i don't get back to you as soon soon then i will get back to you eventually it's, it's getting a little bit more busier so i gotta find a easier way to communicate with you guys but instagram twitter the email is always open. Appreciate you guys showing me so much love on the last video. A lot of y'all tapped in and I shipped them out quick.
got emails back from you guys. Um, so yeah, I, I, everybody was happy with the with the kicks. So, all right, my camera died on me, but uh, yeah, man, you guys uh, hit that email tigasol at gmail.com, Twitter tigasol, Instagram everywhere is at tigasol. Uh, the shoes I still have available for sale will be going up on the Instagram for sale page. Uh, T guy sold for sale, so you guys can follow that too. Just trying to make it easier for everybody. Um, right after the video, if you guys see anything, you can just email me and I'll send out PayPal invoices. And I just got on this Cash app, man. Local Cash got me doing this Cash app now, so I'm doing that. Um, but we can we can work it however you guys want to. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for all the support. I'm out. Peace.